I bought seven brand new 32 gigabyte most popular micro SD cards and we put them through the test for the Raspberry Pi, the cost, all sorts of things. This is the full comparison of the micro SD cards. So we'll be able to compare the two Sandis A1 versus non-A1 as well. So I have a total of seven. Seven micro SD cards, all 32 gigabytes, up to 100 megabytes per second, up to 85, up to 98. This one's upside down. Up to 95, up to 48, so the Evo is not as good as the Evo Plus, and then up to 90 on the PNY. Write speeds, doesn't advertise, doesn't advertise, doesn't advertise write speed doesn't advertise this one says write speeds up to 20. just real briefly from an unboxing experience i really like that the sand discs have a little backing that you have to remove so it prevents them from falling out you can see with the samsung's they don't have a backing so like this one it just fell out of the case without it didn't get stuck in there this one got stuck in this one just fell out not a huge deal i think a big deal though is this one does not come with the adapter so you know make sure you have an adapter with this because that can add an extra dollar cost onto that one and then this one i think has the best packaging you know you get this little case and that's pretty cool so from a packaging perspective I got to give it to this one but I have to say that this one was by far the hardest to tear out as well <laughs> so it's a little harder to open but once it's open it's the best as far as what you're left with after you get rid of the cardboard so for the remainder of the test I'm going to use the Sandis Extremes adapter into my mic into my SD card slot on my computer um, it has a date on here it says 2017 920 so that was only like a month ago so that's if that's a manufacturer date, wow, these are fresh, brand new. So we're going to use this adapter on all the chips for the remainder of the tests. All right, so on the SanDisk um, Extreme Performance, we've got the 29.7 gigabyte, 31 billion, 902 million bytes on that one. Pretty good, pretty good. I recently formatted, let's run a speed test. Wow, wow, <laughs> that is really fast. That is really good for the right speed. I don't think you're gonna see something better than that. All right, let's try Motion Blue version five, right? Yes. Wow, look at those speeds. 65 megs per second. Moving along to the SanDisk Ultra A1 chip. See, there's a new SanDisk Ultras that just came out a couple months ago. And there you go, very, almost identical space to the extreme, 29.7, bytes. 902 Same reading speed, but the, so the reading speed is identical. Uh, the write speed though is uh, 45 which is still really good. I mean, I don't think the price for 60 megs versus 45, I don't know if the price is right there, but uh, it's close. Yeah, this is more the experience I have, which is the write speed of the um, that's tested is not always what you actually get when you're writing. This is actually very similar. I mean, on my Sandus Ultras, I usually get, like, it, it'll speed up. I think it'll go up to about 18, 19 at some points. But uh, it's averaging about 14 or 15 megabytes per second. There it goes, 17. It bumped up there a second. All right, we're now moving to the PNY Elite series, 32 gigabyte. We're going to do it. Wow, so way more available space than the SanDisk Ultra. 30.1 gigabytes at 32 billion 383 bytes million bytes so that's pretty that's actually really good now a test wow wow that's actually really good so not as good as the sandisk pro but it has a little bit more extra space so i wouldn't mind giving up five megabytes write speed for that now let's actually try a write Wow, 
53 megs, 54 megs, 55 megs per second. Wow, that thing's zooming. I mean, this is three times faster than the SanDisk Ultra as far as write speeds. That's pretty darn good. Now we have the SanDisk Ultra, not the A1 chips. So they're a little older, but um, you know, this is what I typically this is what I typically use. I buy them all day, every day. Yeah, so 29.7, uh, 31 billion, 902 million bytes. So same as the A1 chip. I'm not I'm not expecting much of a difference. So as you can see, they read really fast. Uh, they write a little slower. Okay, so a little slower than the uh, A1 chip as well. So it might be worth the A1 chip just to get a little quicker writing speed, especially if the price is so similar. Yeah, I have a similar experience to this as well where it'll jump. I mean, I've had these Santa's Ultras go up to 18 at times, but uh, I guess it's going to average that 14 or so. See, there it goes, 17. So it kind of jumps around. I think it averages around 15, 16 megabytes per second. And uh, so not too bad. I mean, you know, to write this whole image, you know, it'll take you maybe 10 minutes, 10 plus minutes. Next up is the lower end Samsung Evo, not the Evo Plus. So it's already looking like you get a lot of space on these, which is good. So 31.2 gigabytes at 33 billion 541 million bytes so that's actually very promising that there's a lot more space available on the samsung's so let's go ahead and run the speed test but wow such real it's a slow chip and you're going to probably see that notice that in boot times and things like that oh not responding whoops probably should wow so hella slow <laughs> but you get a lot of space but you get a lot of space, pretty good. All right, and then the final test is the right test. And I, I have a feeling it's gonna be slow as hell. Yeah. So six megabytes per second. This one I'm probably not gonna make it to five to even 5% with, uh, with my patience here. But you get the point. Oh, there you go, nine, okay. So I mean, maximum you're talking nine, maybe 10 megabytes per second. So, you know, it's one third or, or even one half slower than the Sandus Ultra, which is going to double your write times. All right, next up is the Patriot. Oh, which actually looks like it has some of the lowest amount of available space. Yeah, 28.9, similar to the Sandus Ultra, 31 uh, billion, 92 million bytes. Let's go ahead and start that speed test. But from what I remember, they're pretty fast. That's why I liked them. So may maybe even a little quicker than the... Um, so it has a, like 10 megs less per second on the read, but it has a little bit more write than the Sandus do. So let's give this a whirl. Yeah. So you see you're getting on average... Oh, it, it dips. All right, now it's settling in. Oh, no. So you're getting, let's just say it's between 22 and 19. So that would, let's just say 20 megabytes per second, or we could call it 19, like it says above, but around 19 to 20 megabytes per second on the right. So as you can see, it's way faster than that Evo, uh, a little quicker than the Ultra. So not bad. We have the Evo Plus, and uh, the Evo Plus. I'm surprised the Evo regular was slow as heck, but you got you got 30 over 30 gigabytes on it. So now we're back at lower amounts of data. There must be a oh, but then it has a lot of bytes. 31 billion 998 million bytes. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and start the speed test. So as you can see, way faster. It's still not as fast as the Patriot though. Uh, but oh, write speeds are pretty good. Okay, so this one's a little more equal as far as read to write speed. Um, you know, you're very s close. So they definitely worked on the write speed on this particular um, this particular SD card. That's pretty good. That's really good. 
Um, pretty good. 32 on average. That's 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 decent. I mean, look how fast this is going compared to the other ones. All right. That all right, I'm gonna show you the Excel file in just a second, but uh, this isn't the actual write speeds I got. This is booting up on a fresh Motion Blue version five. This is a restart, as you can see, two minutes, eight seconds, one minute, 35. Compared to the slowest card, the slowest read and write speeds, it took me four minutes and 33 seconds on a cold boot, and on the restart, it took actually a little longer. So as you can see, the speed and the write speed does matter. The read speed when you're actually playing the games, and the write speed when you're actually writing the images. So price, there you go. That's the uh, column one there. Read speeds, column two here. As you can see, the red, which is the Sandus Ultra A1. I mean, I would say all the Sandus Ultras are in the same playing field and the PNY and Elite. All the others are in a different playing field over there. Three, when you organize by this column, Sandus Ultra Extreme by far the winner. PNY Elite also up there way you're gonna double your speeds here potentially so way quicker as far as writing images um, if you're changing out your image all the time definitely may be worth the money here um, something about the write speeds here is I demoted the uh, Sandus Ultra because uh, you know it it reads in the test it reads a lot higher and then the actuality it's much lower so this particular thing you're looking at right now is more actual numbers than the uh, than the, the test numbers. Uh, the Samsung Evo really, really won out on this one. PNY Elite coming next, then the Samsung Evo Plus. Um, but I mean, it's such a small difference. And with pie shrink and things like that, you can shrink things down. It's not a huge, huge difference. But I mean, I guess if you really were to go from 31.2 to 28, I mean, that is a full, yeah, 2.3 gigabyte difference. Um, and then on the price, I did want to comment that you know, I lowered the price on my Samsung Evo. I actually paid like 27, I think, on the previous um, on the previous video. But that's because I I had to buy it through a third party on Amazon. I want to buy it all with free two day shipping. You can obviously shop around and get these cards a little different or anything like that. But as far as these prices here for these five cards is pretty standard. This one I know for sure you can get a significant price discount in. So that's why I wanted to. That's why I positioned it more at 17 because I think that's more of the common price on that card. So this is really more of the real world example. That's why I changed that here. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and hit the stopwatch on my phone at the same time. Here we go, the Sandus Ultra Extreme Boot Up Time Motion Blue version five. Okay, that was two minutes and eight seconds. All right, now we're gonna do a restart. Quit. Well, I'm gonna hit restart and the thing at the same time. at the same time. All right, one minute, 35 seconds on a restart. All right, now we have the Samsung Evo, not the Evo Plus. This one had a lot of space, but it was by far the slowest with the read speeds. So let's compare this one versus the fastest one. Wow, this thing's taking a long time. Oh, there we go. All right, 4.33, four minutes, 33 seconds. All right, here we go for the restart test. One, two, and three. Dang, this is taking the same amount of time it took for the first boot. So four minutes, 40 seconds. 